On this walk and roll, we'll check out some Beijing snacks. So is this one of the imperial snacks that you're talking about? Yeah, this is called Yundou Juan. It's a uh, kidney bean roll. And it's from these kidney beans right here? Yeah. Oh, so, how, so they got this, and that's kidney bean as well? I think they steam it and uh, it turns into paste. The first Cinderella snack is Yundou Jun. White beans are taken and steamed up to a thick paste. Then they get rolled out into a rectangular sheet about the size of a piece of paper. So this is the paste by itself? Paste, yeah. This kind of looks like Play-Doh or sticky rice or something like that. There's not really too much flavor to it. Yeah, just light. Well, yeah, it just kind of tastes like, yeah. a, just kind of like beans, not really too much flavor. On top of this layer goes a secondary level of red bean paste. It then gets folded together and rolled up into a tube. It's like a little kind of like heart shape almost. Yeah, like a heart, like yeah. a heart. So beautiful. Now to me this looks tasty but pretty simple. Like is this really worthy of being food of the emperor? This local food is fork food, and there is an interesting story. Okay. You know the um, Empress uh, Daughter Cixi. The story of this rolled up dessert goes back to the reign of Empress Sushi near the end of the Qing Dynasty. Evil, tricky, and just plain mean are some of the words that come to mind when people think about Sushi. Supposedly she encountered this snack during travels outside the city, and liked it so much she decided that she would bring some back home. For most people, this would mean packaging some snacks up and stashing them for the way home. But for Sushi, she decided to get it straight from the source year-round. Then she took the shop into the Forbidden City to make this <laughs> food for just her. So she took yeah. that guy's like, you're yeah. coming with me. You're yeah. going to make this stuff just for me. Yeah. Well, it looks like she had some good taste, kind of simple red beans for her stuff, you know. Because she eat the luxurious food every day, so yeah. she wanted to take something pure, simple. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm sure after you, I mean, I'm sure after you, you're used to eating fancy food all the time, yeah. normal food yeah. seems really interesting. I guess it's like the grass is always greener on the yeah. other side. Yeah. yeah. Taste some treats that went from the street to the palace. The first I -wo -wo I've ever made. Sip on a tea that cost almost $2,000 a pound. All that and more on this Walk and Roll.